Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I am Jeremy. Today I have the Ardbeg 19 year old coming in at 46.2% ABV. It says on the label it's matured in ex bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks. I'll give you my opinion on how much I think each cask type is used when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. Alright, so Ardbeg introduced this as part of their new core range in 2019. Let's see how this is on the nose. Lots of uh, lighter notes than you'd expect with an art bag. Definitely that age has mellowed out the peat for sure. Underripe pear is coming through, that lemon characteristics coming through. You always get that lemon with art bags, at least I do anyway. Really nice, like fresh lemon. Really, really good. Get a little bit of that like house style, medicinal, coastal kind of saltiness, brininess uh, aspect to this, that medicinal note. It's really nice. Some like a uh, creamy vanilla note to this too. That's really good. A little bit of oak. When you first pour this, I usually get a little bit of like nail polish remover, but that note seems to somewhat dissipate the longer you leave it out. So that kind of initial alcohol hit that kind of just burns off uh, when this thing kind of opens up a bit with some air. But yeah, pretty um, standard Ardbeg nose, I'd say. Just more refined um, and a little bit lighter, for sure. Let's go palette. Really nice tropical style fruit. Pineapple, for sure. Uh, melon, I mean, like cantaloupe, uh, the lemon carries over. Smokiness, definitely some uh, heavier peaty notes on the finish. Finish is um, pretty long, I'd say. Lots of uh, smoke characteristic, keeps enveloping. Um, some spiciness comes on there too, some like black pepper notes that you'd expect from Ardbeg. I get like a dinner mint, not like a mint flavored, but like I'll put it here. I get this note sometimes in peated peated whiskeys. Um, they're like a chalky style fruit-ish kind of dinner mint. Not mint, not mint flavored though. But yeah, I get that. I like that a lot. This one, um, typical are big flavors, but like I don't feel like there's anything that special about the whiskey. I think that. The tropical fruits notes are really good. Um, it's it's well balanced. Um, the flavors and the smokiness uh, work really well together. It's just it's missing that kind of wow factor for me. There's this is a 19 year old Ardbeg. Um, you know it's an expensive bottle. You're expecting a lot out of this, and if it doesn't deliver that, it seems like you come out of this maybe a little bit disappointed. I think that's where I'm at on this. I really like it. I just think for something with a big age statement um you're expecting you know to be kind of blown away and get something out of this whiskey that's kind of got that extra level of uh wow factor for me um score wise for me on this one i'm going 86 out of 100 um value not adding any value to this this was a gift by richard richard huge fan of the show um huge supporter one of the most generous persons uh, I've met through the whiskey community for sure. Um, always supplying lots of bottles and lots of samples to the channel. So Richard, thank you very much. Really appreciate this. Unfortunately, yeah, I just um, I just don't think it's that special of an art bag. It's like you take all the stuff that a young art bag gives you. You know, the punch, the flavor, the uh, the heavy hitting aspects of like an art bag ten year old. And you just essentially age that, and then it just becomes, you know, less special. I feel like there's just not that oomph of uh, of power in this one, and it's not giving you those more uh, special uh, age notes that you get maybe with some other older whiskeys. So it's kind of like you've taken an Ardbeg Ten, you've aged it, but you haven't necessarily improved it, in my opinion. So yeah, a letdown for me on this one. Um, Think about the casks that they use here. So they say ex-bourbon and Oloroso Sherry. 
Now, Ardbeg may or may not color their whiskey. I don't know for sure. It doesn't say on the label, I don't believe, about coloring. Um, so I think you'd have to assume that it is artificially colored. But let's say for argument's sake that it's not. So they say they use Oloroso Sherry Cast in this. Look at this color. Here it is versus a 10-year-old. And here it is versus the Yugadel. Now, Yugadel, obviously a heavier sherry Ardbeg. I mean, if they're not coloring their whiskey, this essentially is almost no sherry cask influence at all. Didn't really pick up much as far as what you'd normally get from Oloroso, uh, you know, nuttiness, red fruits, chocolate. I didn't really pick up any of that in this. <laughs> I mean, it seems like Ardbeg is cutting another corner with this bottle release. I've been a little disappointed with some of their, you know, yearly special releases that come out. Um, the last couple have been disappointing to me. Haven't tried the new Ardbeg um, Black yet. Um, not gonna rush out and buy a bottle in the secondary market for those prices, not even close. I am excited for the Ardbeg five-year-old that's coming out. That looks really promising. And then Ardbeg released a picture of their new 25-year-old, I'll put it here. Um, can't even imagine the price on that thing, but I haven't tried the 20 somethings, the 22, 23. I've heard good things about those, um, but I think you're looking at different maturations, different casts, obviously, for stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, disappointing. I think they're coming out with this every year, and they might switch the casks around a little bit, so maybe a little bit of different um, sherry casks may be involved, maybe a different wine cast, perhaps. So, we'll see uh, what next year's 19 year old uh, is, but yeah. Unfortunately for this one, it is a pass in my opinion. Expensive bottle, I think these are 300 US dollars, I think 400 Canadian. Um, so yeah, unfortunately uh, just not that uh, impressive of a whiskey with this kind of age statement and this kind of price. There you have it, let me know what you think. Have you tried Ardbeg, um, the 19 year old? If you have, let me know your thoughts. If you haven't, uh, what are you excited to try from Ardbeg coming up? They have this one out that's kind of new, the five year old, the 25 year old, if you've got the money for that. Um, what about the new black? Um, what about the newer uh, Supernova? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't tried those, what's your most excited one to try? Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Cheers.